talking about it's like you know I'm sorry that you black people took offense to banana eating jungle monkey what <laughs> no way I'm sorry that you were offended that these words came off racist to you how did that happen in your black brains no, dude you're racist just no way around it. Let's talk a little bit more about the story about Barrett. See, this incident took place after a Globe columnist by the name of Yvonne Abraham, an African-American woman who wrote an editorial that sparked Barrett's email, supported Gates' actions, asking readers, would you stand for this kind of treatment in your own home by a police officer who by now clearly has no right to be there? In Barrett's email, which was posted on a Boston television station's website, he declared that if he had been the officer he verbally assaulted like a banana eating jungle monkey, he would have sprayed him in the face with OC. This is Alyssa Rosen capsicum, a pepper spray, deserving of his belligerent non-compliance. Interesting. Let me go on. Barrett used the jungle monkey phrase four times, three times referring to Gates and once referring to Abraham's writings as jungle monkey gibberish, the black female columnist. But no, 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 this guy's not racist. Hey, he said in his own words, I'm not a racist. So he's a white man, so we must believe him, right? He also declared that he was not a racist, but I am prejudiced towards people who are stupid and pretend to stand up and preach for something they say is freedom but is merely attention because you don't get enough of it in your little fear-dwelling circle of on the bandwagon followers. Did you hear that? Basically, this guy is saying that racism is black people's fault. You're sitting up here just fearing, you know, something that really doesn't exist. Even though if you speak up in your own house, I'm going to pepper spray the shit out of your ass and haul you off to jail. But you didn't hear me say that moments ago. According to the statement from Boston police, Davis took action immediately, learning of Barrett's remarks, stripping the officer of his gun and badge. Barrett's prior arrests and field investigations will be looked at for indications of racial bias, Davis said. The department will also delve deeper into the officers who received or viewed the email. So now all this idiots, friends, and associates are now suspect. Basically, white people, you have to start to learn how to control your white people. Your racist white people. They are embarrassing the hell out of you. And they're giving us a lot of laughs. For real. I mean, we are actually laughing our asses off at you racist morons. There's a whole bunch of liberal white people out here who wish that this never happened. Wish that they could have stopped these fools from doing this stupid stuff. Heck, they were all at Barack Obama's inauguration. Happy. Ready to move on. But here, there are still some banjo playing morons who, are, who have been given badges and guns and the ability to make life and death decisions and don't have the capacity to. <laughs> Woo. Officer James Crawley and Officer Justin Barrett, what a way to go down in history. But there's an opposite effect for Henry Louis Gates Jr. Not only a scholar, historian, Harvard professor, he will go down in history as the last black male historian and African-American leader to be arrested for no reason at all, except for obvious racist reasons. Another big plus for Gates. In the African-American community, he will be known as the blackest man in America for being arrested in his very own home for being black. Gates, his bravery and leadership with the help of President Barack Obama would improve race relations in the United States of America. Dr. Henry Louis Gates Jr. solidified in history in 2009. Amazing. Wow. Looks like black people are pretty dang civilized. It's nice. We like it at the top.
I ask him if he would have lunch with me one on one. I ask him maybe we could go to a Red Sox game together. Maybe we could go to a Celtic game together. Um, you know, maybe we could have dinner with our families. You know, um, why not? You know, I offered to get his kids into Harvard. <laughs> If he doesn't arrest me ever again. <laughs> Henry Louis Gates today on Martha's Vineyard.